Oh, I actually always had a hankering to be a logger, you know, even growing up as a kid. Um, in high school, you know, a lot of my friends were loggers. They came from logging families, and it was actually just something that we all looked forward to doing when we graduated out of high school. So any place we go, we try to thrive to do a good job. I nominated Plicket Logging for Operator of the Year on this because of the difficulty of the job, their willingness to to take on the challenge and the results that uh, that show on the ground uh, the good job that they did. So this was a large cable logging operation um, that was uh, a large portion of it was downhill yarded over a medium fish stream riparian management area, Brush Creek. We're in the Brush Creek drainage and there's been a lot of fish enhancement work done uh, on Brush Creek, uh, log placement, boulder placement, uh, just finished a three-year, three-phase project actually on Main Brush Creek and its tributaries. And so there is a lot of eyes uh, on this drainage. And they yarded over half a million feet over the a medium fish stream and, and protected the buffer excellently. And so, uh, yeah, it just shows what a good job they did in a high-profile area. Loggers always seem to be in the spotlight. And so when we, you know, it's, there's a lot of people driving these roads when, when we're logging next to a road in a stream like this, we want to do the best job we can and make it look as good as we can. Just to access the, a large portion of the unit, the crew had to hike, hike quite a long ways in the morning um, just to get to work. And if you don't have people that can, that can man up and be out here every day and deal with the elements that we deal with, um, it's pretty tough duty for anybody to come out here, but you know, that's that's our lifeline as our crews. A large portion of the unit was already cut and so the crew could see how tough the job was. Um, and so in, in a way to, to say thank you and to encourage them, uh, I was able to, to get some pizza and I put it in a hot bag so it was still hot when I got to them and, and hiked it down into them for lunch, you know, and it's a, just a little treat for them. Uh, hopefully it, it you know, lifted their spirits a little bit on a nasty winter day. It was uh, really long yarding, uh, hanging several thousand feet um, on each uh, road, which uh, required um, a lot of extra rigging and time and effort with the train. Just the extra line that we had to put on a machine that's not designed to hold that much line. Um, 8,000 feet of haulback is that's a lot of a lot of line out there and then you've got a $90,000 sky car hanging on there 4,000 feet of skyline. I mean, there's just there's a lot of potential for something to go wrong The extra effort we did was haul in the excavator and make sure we clean all the brush up That's where most of this brush came from was along the road down there. We don't want to throw it in the creek the riparian area is in excellent condition after the logging operation you can't even tell that it was yarded over that required a lot of extra road changes and stringing of lines to where they had to each road change they had to string lines separately in order to um, keep the RMA in perfect condition as they did. I have a boss that will supply me with anything that I need to get the job done right um, which just so happens to be my dad. He does a good job. Uh, does a great job and he's very knowledgeable he takes care of his people he's firm he uh, he's no nonsense guy when it comes out here and you go to work uh, I was really impressed with uh, the overall resource protection and it certainly um, looked like it was uh, above and beyond in, in every stretch uh, due to the way that they protected the RMA I mean from my point of view this job is no different than any of the other ones you know we treated it just like we do any job whether there's a stream involved or a road, we just try to go the extra mile to make things look nice. I would say that, yeah, they're, they're one of the best loggers in the state. I love it. You know, I'm, I'll be 61 years old, but I still love coming out here every day and, and doing the job that we think that is the proper thing to do.